In today's Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to make a realistic looking gummy bear in Blender 4.2. So we're going to be doing the modeling, just fusing it all together with a remesh. So it's really basic. I mean, you could suck at modeling and still make this gummy bear. It's just primitive shapes put together and then kind of just re apologize together with a remesh. And then we just smooth it a little bit in sculpting. That's all really, that's all we're going to do. And then it's just a super simple um, a shader set up for our bare gummy material here with a little bit of um, volume absorption just to add that extra bit of realism to the gummy. So um, for those of you who are on the Patreon, you'll be getting this blend file. Um, so all of that's in the description. Let's jump in and I hope you enjoy this Blender 4.2 tutorial. So the gummy bear is super simple. We're gonna go ahead and just delete everything in our scene and let's go shift A and under our mesh options, we're adding a UV sphere. And let's keep this super simple. We're just going to tab into edit mode and we're going to enable proportional editing. Let's just enable the X mirror just so we keep things even. And we're just going to grab, I guess, these bottom verts here, or maybe just a single bottom vert here and just kind of flatten it a little bit by bringing it up with proportional editing. Let's grab this top one, maybe move it up and out. And we're just making like a rough teddy bear shape. And let's go to the top view. And this is the back here. So you can flatten this a little bit and really in reality, this would actually be really flat because it's kind of molded in these little cups. Um, but with mine original, I didn't really go that crazy, but you could do that if you wanted to. So just kind of flatten that. And that's about it. Let's tab back out. Let's go shift A, let's add in a cylinder. Tab into edit mode and just select the top verts and go control B to create a bevel. It's like so. And then roll your middle mouse button to add in more segments. And then just grab these bottom verts, move them down, S to scale them a little bit. And you can kind of move everything up so the origin point kind of sits here. Don't overthink it, just a very simple shape like this. Tab back out. And then in your right orthographic view, just go R to rotate it, like so, S to scale it. And in the front view, we're just gonna move this over here and let's go to modifiers. Click here and search and type in mirror. Click enter and then click on the eyedropper, select the body as a reference. And now grab this and just rotate it and position it. Now you could scale this to whatever scale you want. Um, whatever you think looks good on your gummy bear, go ahead. I'm gonna go something simple like so, and I'm gonna go Shift D to duplicate it, bring it up. This one I'm gonna scale down a little bit, but, but I'm gonna go S double Z just to scale it along the Z a little bit. And I'll just place this kind of more off to the side and inside like so. Really, really simple stuff here. Um, maybe a little bit more out, there we go. And then we're gonna go Shift A, add in another UV sphere. This one we're gonna bring up to about here, like so, inside of edit mode, enable X mirror. We have proportional editing here, so let's just give him some cheeks, like so, um, kind of bring this head down a little bit. In the back view, we can grab this vert and just kind of flatten it, since it is a gummy bear, and then just kind of grab this part of the head here, bring it in, maybe bring the face down a bit, you know, Something simple like that. Um, maybe in the side, just bring it in a bit. Okay, that's looking cute. I'm gonna tab back out and I'm gonna go Shift A. Let's add in another cylinder. And this time in edit mode, we're gonna go S, to Z. We're gonna flatten it like a disc. And we just wanna go to face select and select the top and bottom faces. And then turn off proportional editing and go Control B or Command B. And just roll and make a puck looking like this and then tab back out. And now we're gonna go G, move this guy up and just go R, X, nine, zero, hit enter. And this is just the ear. We're gonna scale it down and place it right here. And to share this modifier, we're gonna select it, holding and shift select the arm, control L and then just go and link the um, copy modifiers over here. So now it shares the same modifier and you can kind of move it over here. At any point you could come in here and just kind of maneuver the ear a little bit or, or the head um, to kind of refine the shape. But something really simple like that is fine. And you can adjust the style of your bear by how you place these um, completely up to you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, Shift A, just add in a quick UV sphere. We're almost done, by the way. We're just gonna come here, scale it, and then we're gonna go S, X, and scale it along the X. And in the side view, we'll just kind of move this in like so. Don't overthink it, something very simple. And uh, that's about it. 
for now, we're just gonna grab everything that has a mirror, holding in shift, and then control J to join it together. And let's come to the mirror and apply, and then let's select holding in shift the head, the nose and the body and go control J. Now it's all joined. Now we're gonna go to our modifiers and just type in sub and get a subdivision surface. And then come to the drop down and apply that. Right click, go shade smooth. And now let's go here, add modifier, search and type in remesh. Click on remesh. And then enable smooth shading and let's make this 0 0.05. And then let's come to the drop down and apply that. And now we're gonna take our bear and go into sculpting real quick. I'm gonna go over here to our um, tools and just go to dynamic topology. Change the detail size down to five pixels. And then um, we're gonna to come to symmetry. Let's click on symmetrize down here to make sure it's symmetrized and make sure X mirror is enabled. And then we're gonna come over here and we're just gonna grab the smooth tool. We're gonna to press F to grow the brush. And now let's just click and just smooth out our gummy bear and all the sort of places where it makes sense to smooth it out. So around the ears a little bit, um, wherever you feel it's necessary. Okay, maybe around the cheeks here and the back. Remember, it kind of is a bit more flat at the back because it's been molded. So that's about it. And then let's go over here to our inflate tool, F to shrink it. And then let's come here to the strength and increase it. And then just come to the middle and the nose here and just make a little nose. And then over here, hold and control to do an inverse and just make the eyes like so. And there we have it, a simple gummy bear. Let's go back into object mode and let's move our gummy bear up. And it's a bit of a fat gummy bear, but it's okay. We're gonna go shift A. We're gonna go to our, empty op um, our light options, add in an area light. Move it over to the side and let's go to our render engine and change it to cycles. Under the render max samples, let's make it 50. And if you have a GPU, I recommend you use that. So I'm gonna grab my gummy and just scale him down. Control A and just apply that scale. And then let's grab this light and have it coming from the side. We'll place it here. Let's go to our light settings, make it 200 and then let's increase it to two meters. And then let's go Shift D to duplicate, have another one coming off from the side. And then let's go Shift A, add in a camera. In our right view, let's move it back. And now if we press zero, we can see in our camera view. And let's just go with something like this for now. And now if we go Z and we go rendered, this is what we can see. Um, I'm gonna grab the gummy bear and I'm gonna double tap R just to kind of rotate him, give him a bit more of a nice looking pose. I'm gonna go to my world settings and just bring the world environment down a little bit in darkness. And then I'll grab one of my lights and just duplicate it, have it come in, coming from the front and then shift D and kind of have one coming from the back like so. So now what we can do is we can grab our gummy, we can go into our shading workspace and we're gonna click new and let's call this material gummy. And this is gonna be super simple. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna first of all go to transmission Take the weight all the way up to one. And then we're gonna grab our roughness here and drag on it. And we're gonna type in noise. And we're gonna go with noise texture color. Then we're gonna go shift a search and get a color ramp by typing it in. There we go. Place it on here and let's drag this black value up and this white value down a little bit. And let's take our scale and make it 3.5. Our detail, we're gonna take to seven. Our roughness, we'll leave it as it is. We're gonna also come here to our distortion, make it 0.2. And then we're just gonna take this vector and drag on it and type in texture, coordinate. And let's go to object. And now we have the object input here. So now let's move these nodes up. We're gonna go shift A search and get a bump node. Place the color into the height from the, print, the um, color ramp, plug the normal into the normal of the principled, and let's take the strength, and let's take the strength to 0 
And now let's give this some volume absorption. So we're gonna go shift a search and we can get a volume absorption. And let's plug that into the volume here. And let's come here to the density and make it five. And then we're gonna take this base color here and drag on it in the principal. We're gonna type in RGB and just go color. And then let's take that same color and plug it into the color of the volume absorption. And now we can go Z and go render it. And we can see our gummy here. And what we can do here is we can come and give it some color, any color you want, just like that. So let's go with a nice kind of reddish gummy bear. And now let's go ahead and save. And let's go render and render image. And there we have a realistic looking gummy bear. And by the way, you can make this whatever color you want. Um, this is my original, um, exact same thing. And you can see this is what this guy looks like. I made him green. And um, it's just really, really cute. And I even animated him on a little turntable so he kind of spins around. Um, but that's something you guys can do yourself. Um, I really hope you have enjoyed this and I will be uploading my final um, or my original here, which is the exact same as the tutorial you just watched. I'll be uploading that to my Patreon. So those of you who are on the Patreon will be getting that. That's all in the description below. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial on making a simple gummy bear in Blender 4.2 and I'll see you next time for another tutorial.